Okay, we're going to be looking at um, more equations um, to describe motion with constant acceleration. Uh, so we've already got a few. We know the velocity is distance over time. We know acceleration is final speed minus initial speed over time. And we know that um, displacement is half initial speed plus final speed multiplied by time. Now we have a few more. We have final speed is initial speed plus acceleration times time. We also have displacement is half um, not half, sorry. Displacement is initial speed times time plus half acceleration times time squared. Also, displacement is final speed times time minus half at squared, acceleration times time squared, and finally we've got final speed squared equals initial speed squared plus 2 times acceleration times displacement. Now these are, the, these are often referred to as the Suvat equations. because they deal with the variables displacement, initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration and time. So we're going to use the Suvat equations to look at a couple of examples. So we're going to look at an example, a couple of examples using the Suvat equations. So let's imagine we've got a go-kart. And this go-kart is going down a slope and it's going to travel for 70 metres and it's given a push so it doesn't start from rest but it has an initial velocity of 3 metres per second but it travels at a constant acceleration of um, It travels at a constant acceleration of 2 metres per second squared. And we want to find out what the final velocity is. Now we're going to use our Suvat equations to do so. So um, we look for the one, we don't know what the time is, so we're going to use this one because it doesn't involve time. So final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times displacement. So that's going to be 3 squared 9 plus 2 times 2 times 70, which is going to be um, 289. And the square root of that is, so V is going to be the square root of that, which is going to be plus or minus 17 meters per second, but we're going to have V equal to 17 meters per second because the velocity is increasing. Now, we want to find out T. Now, we're not, we could use what we've just found, the velocity, the final velocity to find T, but it's a good idea, if you can, not to rely on a calculation, especially in an exam that you've done. If you can do it from the given data, it's a better idea just in case you end up um, taking a mistake and working it through. So let's try, um, let's use this one. 
it uses the initial velocity. So s equals ut plus a half at squared. So we have a displacement of 70, 3t plus a half a, so it's going to be just t squared here. Now it's rearranged that, so we'll have t squared plus 3t minus 70 equals 0. And now we've just got a quadratic equation to solve. With t here, would be a 0, so 10 equals 0. That's minus and a plus, so we're going to have minus um, 10 plus 3 equals 0. So t is either going to be 10 seconds or t is going to be minus 3 seconds. So it's going to be this one because it can't be negative. Um, oh, is it meant to be this? 7, sorry. Um, yeah, 7, 3, 7. Um, it can't, it's not going to be negative 7, but... Yeah. So let's think of another one. This time, we're going to think of a trolley oh dear oh. I'm not changing my colour over so we're going to have a trolley my pen colours change to uh, We're going to have a trolley and do we trolley here? And it has a constant acceleration. After two seconds, it's travelled eight metres. After another two seconds, it's travelled 20 metres. So T here equals two and T here equals two. Okay, find the acceleration. So we don't know, so what do we know? We know here we know s equals 8 and we know s equals 20. We know t equals 2 and we know t equals 1. So let's say here, um, let's call the initial speed here v1. And the final speed here is going to be V2. So V here is V2. And then you've got a new, and but the U for this one, the second leg of the journey, is also going to be V2. And the final speed here is going to be V3. So we know that the final speed for the first leg of the journey is the same as the initial speed for the second leg of the journey. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a simultaneous equation. So we're going to use s equals um, vt minus a half at squared. Um, so the distance here is for this part because we're using the final speed, so 8 is the distance. The final speed is V2. Um, we don't know the time. Oh, we do know the time. Time is 2, sorry. Minus a half A. 2 squared is going to be 4. And then for the second leg of the journey, the distance is 80. Um, and that equals v2 times 2, and this is now plus a half a, and the time is still 4. Um, so we've got these simultaneous equations. I'll rewrite them down here. So we've got 80 equals 2v2 minus 2a or 80 
equals 2d2 plus 2a. So we're going to add these together. So this bit here will cancel out. So we're going to have a 20, sorry, where have I got 80 from? 20. So this is going to be 28 equals 4v2. So v2 um, must be um, 7 just per second. Now we take the 7 and we'll plug it back into one of our equations. So we'll say this one. So 8 equals 2 times 7 minus 2a. Working your way through that, you'd find a is 3 meters per second squared. Um, so I hope that helps.